so we're on our way home. We had a really nice time. It was just, it was, it was necessary. Hola, good afternoon. It's um, 2.30, Wednesday, August 5th. Remember how yesterday we were supposed to clean out the garage, but it never happened because of the uh, hurricane? Yeah, we actually did that today. Dana's fucking happy because it got done. Let's see if the light's still on. No, the light is not still on. Oh, man. Let's see if it'll actually tur turn on. Um, okay. Look, a shed ton of space. Dana used to have the uh, the mats down here for when she used to work out. Hi, V's. Uh huh. It looks totally different, right? All our stuff here. There's a hutch back there, so that's why it looks like a lot more. Um, this is Ma and Pop stuff. Other than my heat press and that. And then that's theirs too. And then all of this stuff. These, I think there's a couple things up there and there. And then these are all empty boxes. So then we're taking that, of course, because that's ours. Oh, TV. And then our fridge. But this has opened up this space a lot. And now we can pack more shit. So you know how yesterday we were supposed to order from the diner? I called earlier to make sure that they were open. And they are. Obviously, I hate calling some place to see if they're going to be open and then somebody picks up and I was like, oh, yeah Well, I was just calling to see if you guys are open <laughs> but obviously, you are. obviously you are if you're answering the fucking phone, right? You almost didn't get that out. No, it's obviously, obviously. obviously. <laughs> She fucking calls me out all the fucking time. I do because I all hear it all the <laughs> Whatever <laughs> So we're gonna order from the diner tonight since Thank that was gosh. supposed to be yesterday's Give Dana a hey, break from cooking. Um, today's Omed. We have not eaten yet. No. I'm not hungry right now. I'm not either. I think it's because, okay, it's not like I do anything in the garage anyway. I right. look through things because Dana doesn't want to. Uh -uh. She likes to move shit. And say, find out what's in here we need. If not, throw it out. Exactly. That's my job. Yes. And Dana is a mover and shaker. Yes. So that's perfect. <laughs> we got that done. And Dana's happy. Yeah, now tomorrow the if kids If I can make Dana happy, I get to live another day. You're stupid. Yeah, so tomorrow the kids will do their rooms. Yep. And Dana then, was speaking and then I turned you guys off. And then on Sunday we will finish in here. Oh yeah. As much as we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Dana is just sweeping after the piggies. Can I turn the camera around? Ah, I don't care. You can see that. You can show them. Mm -hmm. The babies. Oh, the babies. We did a, a piggy care. Uh, morning this morning because everybody oh. had to get their their medicine. Uh, their vitamins. Oh, hi Amelia. Where's Scratch? Oh yeah, show all the babies. Where's Scratch? Oh, Lauren, can you see her? She's over there somewhere. She's right there. She's on top. No. Okay. Let's go around. Here's our table. This has been with us Forever. for a, a long videos. time. Yes. Probably okay. Where's Melvin? Melvin. <laughs> There's Melvin. You guys remember Melvin. We actually just did this the other day. Gretchen. Oh my god, she's so fucking cute. Look. Can you see her? She's right there. And then... There's VZ. She's right there. Isn't she so cute? Yeah. And then here's the boys. Polly and Vinny. They have been with us for a week and a half now. And they're adjusting. Very. Uh, Polly is on antibiotics and he's also on eye drops. And Where's everybody. I don't know. It's supposed to be. Um, hmm. I was going to say, everybody gets vitamin C. Everybody loves it. 
Let's see. Does Vinny remind you of anyone? He looks like Jerry. He does look like Jerry. Hi. He even has a black hand like Jerry. Mm -hmm. Hi, Polly. They like their morning time snuggles. And it's been a while, but here's Rico. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. That's so much hair, this and most Rico. of it is his. This is from Rico. Hi, Big. Hi, Big. Say hello to everybody. I actually um, de shedded him a lot, and he looks so much better. Right? Right, Big? Right? Right, Pico? Paul. Come on. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't want. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we picked up our food from the diner. Chicken breast with roasted reds. Those are my onions. Uh, broccoli with garlic. That's the um, it's California, a California salad. salad. It's got a real turkey breast on there. And then there's my ribeye steak with mutts and onions. A little broccoli with garlic, some salad. Austin's got a hero sandwich. It's got cheesesteak, chicken fingers, fries, mozzarella sticks. He loves sweet potato fries. We are indulging Sammy today. She's got chicken fingers and fries and mutt sticks. And then here's some bacon that Austin didn't want this morning. And I don't know what we're going to drink. Good afternoon. It is August 7th, if you didn't know. Yeah, it's 7th. I know the date. Arlo's here. She's getting ready for work. The boys, they're there. And everybody else is over there. We just had lunch. We had cut, cut the carb. I made some taquitos with some carnitas that my dad didn't want anymore. So I just made some uh, homemade taquitos. And now I'm here making, this is ground turkey that I am browning up. I'm going to drain it when I'm done because you see all that liquid? I don't want that liquid. So I'm going to drain that when I'm done. Arlo made me uh, ice espresso and she also made the dog some chicken thighs which she eats with her um, her actual dog food. She likes to have like meat with her food which I don't blame her. Um, I'll show you if I remember later on. I will show you. I'm going to be making a faux tata salad. I want to say I've made it on this channel before, but it was a really long time ago, so let's update that. So Arlo boiled some eggs. So I'll be using that with the cauliflower, and I'll show you kind of like what I do and how to make a faux tata salad. And then if I remember, I will show you. We, uh, we made a caprese salad using a uh, great low-carb bread company, pasta company, whatever it's, whatever it's called, they're Orzo. And um, tomorrow, we're going to bring you tomorrow because you have not met our friends. So we're going to bring you to meet our friends. We're having a social, we have to be quiet though, shh, a social distancing lunch, shh, a social distancing lunch with our friends, our keto Instagram fam. And we're going to a park in Delaware and we're going to be obviously social distancing, doing it smart. We're all bringing our own food. This way no one's like dabbling in each other's food. And we haven't seen each other in a really long time and we miss each other. So this is our way of getting together during this shithead pandemic and enjoying each other's company. It sucks that we won't be able to hug them, but it's okay. I am A-OK -okay with just being in their presence. And it, it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. So, I mean, even if we take a long walk, just eating and talking and chit-chatting, I'm A-OK -okay with all of that. So, that is taking place tomorrow. Um, a friend of ours, Frank, he's getting Wingstop for pretty much everybody. Um, uh, I mean, maybe aside from maybe one or two people, but he's getting Wingstop for everybody. We already gave him the money, and we're bringing our own sides. So, that should be fun. Mm. And I'm excited for it because I miss them. Like, I see them physically, see them through the phone all the time. But to literally see them in person is going to be a great thing because we miss, we really do miss them. And we're all adults here, so we're doing it safe. We're not stupid. Um, so that's, that's happening. 
and I'm excited. I'm actually going to go for a walk in uh, probably a half an hour or so. We'll see. I've got to make sure I've got this chili going. Um, so I'm just waiting for this shit to brown up a little bit. And then once this browns, I can add all my seasonings. This this is the crushed tomatoes that I'm going to be adding. These are the Centos. I believe these are the San Marzano. Yeah, these are the San Marzanos. So I'll add four cans of those. And it's very basic, my chili, because Samantha is doesn't like to have onions and garlic and all that stuff. So I have to add like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. I usually add a little chili powder, a little paprika. And then I add this taco seasoning that I have somewhere here. And it's actually very carb friendly because there isn't any carbs. It's made by Blackstone. I, oh, here it is. So this is what I use. And it gives it that like nice chili taste. Even though it's a taco fajita seasoning, it gives it that. And shit, I am almost out. Well, that ain't good. So, there's that. When I get back, I'll feed the dogs. And that's it. Happy Friday, by the way. Uh, it's coming down to the nitty gritty. We're moving soon. Did you know that? We're moving soon. Arlo, are you excited for the move? Oh, okay. honey, you're not wearing those, are you? No, I'm not. Oh, thank God. If you, if I had to work with somebody like you and you came in with them shoes, let me show them shoes. Look at these shoes she's got on. These are the shoes that I mow the grass with, that I, <laughs> that I, um, Look how cute she looks. Look how much weight she lost. Look, her shirt is huge on her. She's so cute. Isn't she cute? Only when she's not being a fucking asshole. That's not Ask me when I'm fighting with her if I think she's cute. <laughs> not even a little bit. Anywho, you so, oh, did your itchiness go away last night? This bitch came home scratching like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and good night good night she knocked me out last night too by the way i needed it um anywho so sayonara i am gonna remember i swear to god to pick your i'm gonna put you on by the coffee pot if i put you back on that tv stand you ain't gonna no um so i'm gonna put you here for you by the coffee pot and i'm gonna show you how i make my potato salad later so be prepared howdy I ate dinner about an hour and a half ago, and I just remembered, oh, I told them I was gonna t show them how to use, well, how to do this whole faux tata salad thing. So, I'm gonna show you what I've done so far, which really wasn't much, so you won't be too far behind. But, I had a small head of cauliflower. I broke it up right here. Let me put the light on so you guys can see. So, I broke it up into pretty small, like, bite-sized pieces, and I took a lot of the stems, like, huge stems off, and just left, like, the head. Because it makes it easier to eat this way. Um, let me put you here. Hold on. If I'm making you dizzy, I apologize. So, I'm actually going to grab a red onion, and I'm going to cut that up. Probably just going to use half of it because I don't need a full red onion. So I'm going to use half. And I'm going to just cover the other half and put it in the fridge for whatever. So we'll just put that to the side. And we will use half of this onion here. It winds up being a lot less than half, truthfully. But I mean, really, it's only this piece. So, throw this out. I'm going to cut this up super duper small. Duper duper small. Chop it up. I mean, like, dice it really tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm just, it's like a rough chop, truthfully. I'm not trying to make everything the same exact size. I just want rough, rough chopping. We like the way um, the red onion gives it like a little bite. It's actually really, really good, but I don't like to add too much of it because it could be a little overpowering and we don't really like to just taste red onion, you know? So... That's what's happening. I, I know how to cut better than this, I swear. But like I said, I'm just rough chopping. I think that's okay. I think. 
All right, so that's that. Gonna add that to the potato salad. And I don't cook the cauliflower. We like to eat it raw because it's a nice crunch and it's quite refreshing. There are some people that make it and it is, they cook it or they steam it or whatever they do. I don't do that. I don't really like the way it tastes like that. So next, I'm going to take a bowl and I'm going to take some yellow mustard. I'm going to take some, where is it at? Uh, mayonnaise, mayonnaise, and a little bit of vinegar. Where's my vinegar? Vinegar, vinegar, here we go. A little bit of red wine vinegar. So I'm going to make like a little concoction here. Just take a spoon. I'm going to make like it's like a little dressing. And also make a mess because that's what I do best. So really no, um, look at this. This is what happens when you're in a rush. You make a freaking mess. So there's no measurements here. I take about five heaping spoonfuls. And that really should be enough, truthfully. And then take a little bit of mustard. Give it a good... Ooh, the onions. I'm feeling the effects. And then I take a little bit of vinegar. The vinegar just adds... I don't know. It adds a cer certain something to it. So, and there it is. And then I will taste it. It's pretty much like a dressing, you know? So... Oh, that is freaking bomb. Mmm, delish. So I'm going to add this to this. Just like that. And this will taste absolutely delicious tomorrow. So I've got that chilling. And then next ingredient is going to be a couple of hard-boiled eggs. So Arlo's got some really ugly ones here that I have no idea what she did to this, but okay. So we're going to take four of these eggs and uh, chop them up and we're going to put them in, in there as well. Rough chop, doesn't matter how you cut it, just cut it really. Does not matter. Same thing you did with the onion, you do with the egg and believe me this makes such a like oh it is delish I'm trying not to cut myself because I am known for cutting myself for sure so rough chop through it all here just like that sorry about my nose and my sniffles but if you haven't been watching for a long time, my nose always runs. It just does. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Add it to the mix. Just like that. Get rid of this. And then we're going to give it a good stirring. I'm hoping this is a big enough bowl. I guess we'll find out, right? And then I usually add a little salt, a little pepper, and just kind of leave it, marinate, and get quite yummy and delicious. And that's exactly what it will do. It will taste even better tomorrow. I'm going to put it in something with a cover on it. Let me go get some pepper. I might add a little bit of garlic powder to it. Pepper, some salt, and a little garlic powder. I mean, because, I mean, hello, garlic powder's delicious. A little salt, not a lot of salt, but you can add a lot of pepper because I love pepper. And then I'll add a little paprika to it tomorrow and just kind of put it on top, sort of as a garnish. Yep. Give it another good stir in. If it seems dry, you can always add a little more mayo 
or a little more mustard, whatever. You can add both too. But this, to me, looks perfect. We don't like it too wet. I just like everything completely covered. But it's perfect. There it is right there. Oh, looking delish. So that is Keto Fotata Salad, if you didn't know. Good morning, happy August 8th. It's afternoon, whatever. We missed it by Good a afternoon, happy August 8th. We're on the Delamere, Delamere, <laughs> Delaware Memorial Bar Ridge, and, and there's Del a ton Del of Mar fucking traffic, which sucks. We're on our way to Delaware, obviously. Um, we're having, I told you guys yesterday, a social distancing picnic with a bunch of our uh, Instagram friends. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. And it's pretty decent outside so far. It's not too shabby. It's like in the low 80s, which I'll take, I'll take it. Anything's better than 90s or high 80s. But let me show you. Here we are. We're on the bridge. There it is right there. Yep. So that's what's happening here. Um, the worst thing about taking a road trip, we always buy coffee and now I have to pee and I hate it. And I should know, don't drink that right now because you're going to have to piss in like an hour. And that's exactly where I'm at. I mean, I can hold it in. I'm a big girl, but... So am I, but I can't hold it in. Oh, you can't really hold it in, huh? I just have oh, yeah, 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 I'm a big girl, but I can't hold it in. But anyway, so that's that. Um, like I said, social distancing picnic. We all have our sides. Um, our friend, we have our masks. We have our, masks. our friend Frank uh, stopped at Wingstop. That's near where we're going to be at. And he got everybody wings. So we've all got our own little package of wings. We've placed and, our orders. Yeah, we've placed our order already. He picked everything up. He's bringing it there. So, and I've never had Wingstop before, so we'll see what that's all about. Voyages. Mm -hmm. And we have our own sides. I told you about that yesterday. I showed you the cauliflower that I made. Um, the faux potato salad. And uh, yeah, look how pretty that looks. It's just really cool looking. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. It's very pretty. So, yeah. So that's what's going on here. Not a lot of anything. Supposedly estimated time is like 20 something minutes, so we'll be 14. there. Well, now it's 14 minutes, which isn't bad at all. We've got some, we didn't get Starbucks today. We got Wawa, their espresso, which is good, but I'm trying not to drink it so quickly because like I said, I gotta pee. Thank God there's bathrooms there. I don't know what you would do with no bathroom. That would be really not ideal for any of us. Well, if there's a picnic area, I have no idea because of COVID and everything's closed. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, so you could have a picnic area and still block your bathrooms. That is true. Anywho, so we are in Delaware right now, which is a hop, skip, and a jump away. I mean, it's the next state over. But, uh... You're out of it in the blink of an eye. Yeah, it's very small, Delaware. If anybody, any of you guys live in Delaware, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, so, let's... You get to meet our friends soon. Yeah, we're not going to be really Instagramming, well, storying too much because I just don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it, but we will be vlogging, so you'll get to be hey. you'll get to be priority today. Usually, unfortunately, you're not. I mean, at oh, least I'm she honest. Doesn't, she doesn't love you anymore. I do love you, but it's hard to always remember to pick up the camera when my phone is always available. Glued to your hip. Glued. Anyway, so. We're in the, what is it called? Toll line. All right, so this is where we're at. This is the park and picnic. Well, we're going to the park and picnic area. This is Bellevue Park in Delaware. It's nice. It's like a nice, witty park. Like, I, we don't have parks like this where we live, which kind of freaking sucks. I was praying that the sun was not gonna be out, but oh well. It's better than rain, right? Absolutely. But yeah, so this is this is what is up. Anywho, just wanted to kind of give you a quick showing of I know there's horses and stuff here and it's cool. Exciting. Very exciting. Alright, so we're here. 
and um, our friend said that it is okay to show them, but we just sat down, we are hungry, we actually have to pee, and uh, the bathrooms are closed. Mother sucker. Okay, so, mm, we put our sides here, we actually, shit. Have wing stop. These are the uh, garlic parmesan, and Dana also has some plain. We have never had wing stop before. Their ranch is supposed to be really fucking good. Dana's already chowing down, and um, she can't talk. Napkins? Do you want a napkin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Shut up. Damn it. Why are you giving me so much? I don't want two. Huh? So many. Two. Yum. Right? I got a bunch if you need it too. Oh. What is it? Being around our friends really makes us happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really does. That's Kara's laugh if you couldn't uh, hear her. I feel like Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see Frank? Frank. Or is it Julie? Is it Julie Andrews? <laughs> That's Frank. Oh. Elise is there, and then that's Lisa, Tara, Jules, and Courtney is behind the tree. Can't see her, but maybe later. Say, mm. we like flats. Yeah. Mmm. 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 It's really good. Mm. Borgata. No. No. Harris. Yes. Harris. Harris. Where the hell did I say Borgata? Mm. Really good. <laughs> All right. So we ate. We were conversating. We kind of forgot about you, so I'm sorry. Oh, well. I know. <laughs> but a couple of our friends already left. Here are the people that are left. I don't know if you can see anybody. But, um. I was asking him when we're going to do another one of those. That's me. That's Elise. Do you want the bag? That's Eric. <laughs> and there's Who's that? Lisa. Christy. Dana. That's Frank. There's more. Christy's oh, over there. Kara and Jules already oh, left. No. Courtney no, already no, left. No. She had to go to a birthday party. But um, we're packing up and we are going to head to Sprouts. We don't have one that's close to us. So when we run across one, we go. He said six miles away, but I think we're gonna go to the one in Jersey only because there's somewhere else that I want to go that's in that same plaza. So I'm not, okay, because we gotta go that way. I know. All right, we'll see you later. So we had a really nice time. I just want to put that out there, and you can't really see it, but look at how pretty the clouds are. Oh, you actually can. It's beautiful. They're so pretty. They look like they're painted. Um, so. We're going over the, what bridge is this? Palmberry. Palmberry Bridge. I don't know, from Delaware to Jersey, I guess. I've never heard of it before, but that's the bridge we're going over. And so we're on our way home. We had a really nice time. It was just, it was, it was necessary. Yeah, we missed our friends. We have this very, we have this tight group of friends. I mean, I like everybody, but we have a tight knit group of friends that we love very much. And these are people that we've, uh, you know, had lunch with. Yeah, we've had lunch with them multiple times. We've hung out with them multiple times, and and it's just like a, it's a group of us, and we love them so. Family. Yeah, it's family. It's definitely family. I wouldn't even call them friends. They are family to us. Um, and it was just, it was amazing. It was needed. It like fills your heart, you know? So now I'm good. So, and I know Arlo had a great time too. And the laughs, and we were, we were safe, you know? We know what we need to do to be safe. And it was really enjoyable. I loved it. Loved it. And I love them. Anyway, on our way home. Okay, we're home. Uh, got the kids some food. We're actually going to make some... Um, taquitos would cut the carb. We're gonna make them like deli style, with some salami, some fresh mutts, a little bit of ham, things like that. We're gonna warm it up. Then we're gonna dip it in some Wingstop Ranch. I'm excited for that. So, 
I just wanted to tell you that we were home and uh, gonna probably feed the guinea pigs right now because they are staring at me, so I know they're hungry. And um, today was a really good day, so that's what I wanted to say. I'm probably not gonna get back on here because me and her are beat. And we're probably just gonna rest the rest of the day. We got up pretty early this morning, um, but well worth every minute of the day, so. Toodles. Toodles? Toodles. Toodles.